guys, how's it going? Today's video is going to be a one brand tutorial featuring only Maybelline products. This video was inspired by what you're probably looking at right now. The lipstick that is on my face is Midnight Blue. This is a new one from Maybelline. It is a limited edition bold color and I am digging it, you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that. I also show you a nude option um, in the video if you are just like, dang, that is way too much. But yes, I absolutely love Maybelline. I think that they have some amazing, amazing stand out products. It's one of my favorite drugstore brands for sure. I love their concealers. I love their um, foundations, their mascaras. They really do. Oh, and their lip products. They have some amazing, amazing makeup out there. So I wanted to put it on display. Um, also, this tutorial is basically like how to wear bold lips. And this type of face makeup and eye makeup is what I would recommend whether you are wanting to wear a bright blue or like a magenta or any sort of color that is a little bit out of your comfort zone, keeping everything else super neutral and um, it makes Makes it, it just makes it a little bit more wearable even though this is you know we're getting a little past the wearable zone but with that said let's jump into the tutorial all right I'm going to be starting off with foundation I'm using the Maybelline dream wonder liquid touch foundation I love this stuff because it is super lightweight but it blends really easily it reminds me a lot of my bare minerals bare skin serum foundation so that is a great alternative if you don't want to spend your money on that one but yes I really like this mine is in the shade 10 porcelain ivory um, you want to shake it up for sure before you use it but the only thing is that it has a very strange applicator. So it comes like this and I just normally kind of like paint it on, which is not hygienic in the slightest, but we're just gonna go with it. And I do recommend using a brush with this foundation. I find that a beauty blender really soaks up a lot of the product, so a brush is my favorite way to blend it all in. Maybelline actually has a lot of nice foundations. I also really like their Fit Me line, both the matte and poreless, and then there's one that's more for like dewy skin. I think that they are awesome foundations. I like to keep them in my professional makeup kit because I find they work um, very well for a lot of different skin types. And then I also have the Dream Wonder Liquid Mousse Foundation, which I don't like nearly as much as the other ones. I find that one to be super, super thick, but I think um, if you had oily skin, you might like it a lot more. Um, this foundation is quite light for me at the moment, but not to worry, once we get to bronzer and everything, it'll just be grand. I just finished saying how I like using the foundation with a brush, but I'm actually kind of noticing a little bit of streakiness um, with it today. I don't know why that is, so I'm just going to go in with my damp beauty blender. Um, there's no extra product on here or anything, just to make sure that it is nice and even and blended into my skin. Maybelline really has a lot of amazing options when it comes to concealer. Um, so today I'm going to use a few different ones, but seriously, like this Age Rewind Brightening um, a Dark Circle Eraser Concealer is one of my favorites. I love the Fit Me um, Concealer. It's awesome. The Better Skin one, like they, they just have some good ones. There's one that comes in like a squeezy tube, like the Master Conceal. Maybelline does concealers super well. So to kind of layer these up and get some really nice coverage, I'm just going to start off with this brightening one. You just twist it up and I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eyes and I kind of like to bring it out onto like my um, cheekbone area onto that high point to add a little bit of like highlight and brightness and then I'm going to switch over to the fit me one in 15 fair and I'm gonna add a little bit of that just directly on to those dark eye bag areas and making this little cocktail is just you know what I like to do and then I'm actually gonna switch over to another concealer and just on those areas where I need a little bit more coverage, just add a little bit of it in. Um, and I like this one because it matches my skin tone. So I like to use it for the blemish covering. A 
All right, I'm now going to set my skin with this new product. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. Now this has salicylic acid in it, so that definitely helps with breakouts and acne. I don't know if that will irritate my skin because my skin is quite dry, but I wanted to try it out because I do love the Better Skin line from Maybelline. And I really feel like there aren't a lot of great high coverage powders I'm at the drugstore. I don't know how this one will be. It's my first time using it. it. Comes with a really nice mirror though. That's like a big mirror. That's nice. So I'm going to put this all over my skin and potentially under my eyes, but I might have to switch to something else if it's too dark. So let's just give this a whirl. So this is actually good because that foundation was too light for me. So this powder is going to help get my skin back to a healthy level of color. Nice coverage to it though, like it's definitely adding a little bit of coverage to those, um, a little bit of extra coverage to those areas where I am nading it. I also love the Maybelline Fit Me Powder um, and that I wish I had it with me to set my under eye area because I love that for an under eye setting powder. It's very, very soft and fine. Um, I'm out of it though. I always run out of that one because I use it all the time. So I'm actually just going to switch over to something NYX, which I'm sad about. If I didn't realize that I couldn't set my under eyes with this, I would have picked something else up. But we're just going to work with this today. I'm just going into the NYX Contour Palette and using this vanilla shade over here to set my under eye area. Oops, I dipped into the shimmery one. I was like, what the hell is that? Okay, we're just gonna put a little bit of the shimmer on this side to even it out. Guys, this is just real life. This is just how, this is just what I do. Okay, going into this one, this is the one I wanted. It's more of a matte to satin. That one's like full on shimmery. Oops, um, I'm just setting that area. You can see here that it is very light, very brightening, but just give me a second. We'll, we're going to make this work. A few years ago, Maybelline released a Dream Sun bronzer for their summer collection. I purchased it, had never tried it before, and it became like my favorite bronzer. It has the most beautiful type of satin finish to it that just leaves your skin looking naturally glowing and bronzed. And I didn't realize at the time how makeup collections worked because this was actually probably like five years ago. I didn't realize it was limited edition. So when I ran out of it, I scoured Shoppers Drug Marts and Walmarts and anywhere that I could think of that carries Maybelline um, in order to purchase it again. But it was limited edition, so I couldn't get my hands on it. And it is something that I've thought about ever since then. And then I was in a London Drugs recently and I saw this guy and was like, oh my gosh, I was so excited. I literally considered buying the whole entire display, but I held back. I held back. This um, packaging is different. It used to be like a uh, clippy clothes one like that um, and now it just kind of screws off like this but I have tested already it is the same formula and I'm so excited so if you see this bronzer in your local drugstore highly recommend it I got mine in the shade 02 golden there were three different options this just looked like the most type of like natural type of shade for me personally but the other ones look nice too and I like that it has this like imprinted sun pattern on it. I think that's really nice. So I am just going to use my Real Techniques, um, I don't know what this is, it's just like a big fluffy brush and I'm not going to contour or anything today. I'm just literally going to bronze up my skin and just give it that nice warm golden glow because we are going to be going in with a very bold lip color and so I want to be keeping my face quite simple. It smells good. It smells so good. This brush, so soft. For blush and highlighter today, I'm going to be using one product. I really like these little um, master highlight highlighting blushes from Maybelline. This one is in the shade Nude, and it really does give a nice, soft, nudie peach type of glow to the skin. That is actually another tip I have for when you're working with super bold colors. If you just stick to bronzer and highlighter, it can kind of help to tone down the rest 
of your face and make that lip color more wearable. And I really like this because this does have a little bit of color to it other than just being, you know, a highlighter and having that like kind of sheen to it. So I am just going to put that on my cheeks and you can see there it has a very nice peachy undertone to it. All right, now for eyebrows, we are going to be testing out a new product. I really was trying to make sure I had all of the right products to fill in this one brand tutorial, which is why I'm sad that I had to use that NYX powder, but I'm over it already. So I wanted to buy a Maybelline brow pencil. I did have like some sort of brow definer or something from them, but I don't know where it went. I have no idea. I have scoured everywhere and it's bad that I can't find it, but I can't. So I wanted to try something else out. This was very appealing to me. It is a pomade crayon. And I'm not gonna lie, when I looked at it, I was like, how in the hell would anybody use that to get like, you know, nice eyebrows filled in? But that is what we are going to be testing out today. I got mine in the shade Soft Brown. There were two other shades, one darker and one lighter from this guy in case you are interested. And so let's just see how this goes. I was going to get like a powder or like a thin pencil, but I was like, you know what, let's get out of our comfort zone. Let's see how this bad boy is. I'm going to enlist the help of a trusty spoolie. This is not my favorite brow product I've ever used, but they definitely, like this one turned out a lot better than I was expecting to. The only thing is, is since it is such a soft pomade, when I was going in with my spoolie, I was noticing that little like pomade bits, if they got on the spoolie and I brushed anywhere outside of my eyebrow line, it would kind of get onto my skin, but I'm impressed. I like the color of it, that's for sure. The only other thing I'm thinking of too is this is quite a fine point right now, but after usage, it's gonna go down and that will make it extremely difficult to use. And I don't, and it's, it's like a twisty up for um, sharpening, so there's not even a sharpener for it, so. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't hate it. I don't. Next for eyeshadow, I actually don't own any Maybelline eyeshadows. I've never purchased their nudes palettes. I just haven't heard great things about it. I've heard really good things about their little like quads that come in that like long skinny packaging. But again, I was like, I don't think I'll use that a ton. So I wanted to refrain. I did want to keep this to all Maybelline though. So I will show you guys a look that I do a lot. And that is just using bronzer. And I think that it is super pretty and super flattering. It kind of brings your whole face together. So let's zoom me in a little bit and we will do our eyes. All right, so I'm going back to my bronzer and I'm using this medium sweeper brush from Sigma. It's perfect for this type of technique that we're doing because it has a flat side to it to really pack on color and then it has a little bit of fluffiness to it to kind of blend it into the crease area. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. I am just going to load up my brush with this bronzer, put it all over my lid area. and then just lightly brush it into my crease area. And I just love putting a bronzer on my eyes. I just think that it is the perfect transition or crease color because it just, you know, it's a natural shading, if that makes sense. And then just because I don't want at all to seem like it's a harsh line, just using a clean blending brush, I am just gonna go over the edges into my crease to make sure it's nice and buffed out. And then going back to the Sigma Sweeper brush, I am going to take a little bit of that on my lower lash line as well. For my waterline, just to keep things nice and bright and have my eyes look nice and awake, I am going in with this Maybelline Waterproof Gel Liner in Soft Nude. I love this shade because there's a slight like satiny shimmer to it, so it is very flattering and I'm just going to put that in my waterline. And I'm going to take this as well and just add a little bit to that inner corner area to brighten things up and just take a clean brush and blend that in a little bit. 
now I'm going to apply two different mascaras. Maybelline makes incredible mascaras. I love so many of their different lines. Like they have like a pumped up volume one that I really like. I used to love their Colossal, the Maybelline um, Great Lash, the one that comes in the pink and lime green tube is just, you know, a classic. Um, but my favorite are the Maybelline Lash Sensational. This is the original and this is an extension of the line. Um, it is called Luscious Full Fan Effect. I love layering these two because I think that this one is even blacker and I like um, the brush on this one. So I go in with this first and then top it off with this guy and it is like, like fake lash effect. It is amazing. Like that is just mascara and it really, really keeps things nice and fresh without using eyeliner, but still, you know, gives that extra little bada boom. All right, and now for lips, for the fun part, I wanna show you guys first just like a nude option and how if like a bold color, like the navy blue one I'll be using is just not for you because let's face it guys, I don't even know if it's for me. I'm just having fun. Um, but this is a look that I do a lot because it is just so easy to throw bronzer on as an eyeshadow. So I wanna show you guys how it looks with just a nice everyday lip color. This is of course from Maybelline and this is in Barely Bloomed. This, I don't know, I always forget what this um, line is called. It comes in uh, like this very pretty orchid tube. I think it's like full bloom or something like that. But um, I'll, I'll show you guys. Super pretty, uh, very pale nude shade, which I like it, but I need something else on there, especially since my lips are kind of dry right now. I am topping it off with the Elixir Lip Gloss in Nude Illusion. Which these lip glosses are some of my absolute faves. They are so awesome. The formula isn't overly sticky, but it provides a lot of gloss and shine. They are really, really great. So that is the look um, with a nude lip gloss on featuring all of my Maybelline products. But now, the part you've all been waiting for. So guys, I've never tried this. I haven't even put this on my lips yet. This is um, in the shade Midnight Blue, and it is the Bold collection, of course. And it looks like just in the tube that it is going to be a very, very matte, matte, um, lipstick so I'm just going to first start applying this right from the tube and I also have a little brush ready in case I am needing some help surprisingly soft okay guys this is going on super nicely I am just a little bit nervous so I am gonna switch over to my brush application All right, that took a super long time to apply because I had to be so careful. But you guys, I am so impressed with this formula. I was expecting it to be super dry and hard to work with, but it went on very nicely using this little brush made getting into the little corners very helpful. You can tell it makes my teeth look very white. Like it, if you are looking for some white teeth, just throw on some midnight blue lipstick. But yeah, I really like this. I don't know where I would wear this. Like I wouldn't, you know, go to a job interview with this on, but it is fun just to switch it up. And I think it's amazing that Maybelline has come out with this super bold, vibrant kind of fashion color, I would call it. And that the drugstore is, you know, keeping up on the trends. Like this is something that you normally would only see from like ColourPop or something like that. So. I am really impressed with it. I think that it is super fun. Um, I had been wanting to try the Too Faced uh, Melted Liquid Lipstick. They have a really dark blue one, but couldn't justify the price. So this is a really fun alternative and I really like it. I'm into it. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it is just way too crazy? Um, because I might as well, but I think it's fun. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing today's tutorial using only Maybelline products. Please give this video a thumbs up if you love one brand tutorials. I believe Too Faced will be next. I am just waiting for those dang Born This Way concealers to come out, um, and then I will have that video up. So that is all. I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Please subscribe if you haven't already because it means so much to me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.